Uh, I know that you're seeing my posting, Cindy, so I created another group of Ripplin players, so you're in that group, Charlie. And okay. the nice design of Google Plus allows you to create these circles. I mean, you can do it on Facebook too, but Google Plus is it's just more understandable representation. You got the circles of your friends and your groups. So I have my Ripplin, everybody that is in the Ripple, as we were talking about earlier, theoretically should be on that one. But I've got about 500, a little bit under 500 in there. But then I've also got another one for Ripplin Prospects because I don't want to send the prospects the same information that I'm sending people that are in. And then I've got another one that I just created for Ripple and Players, if there's you know news and information specifically for us. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a question of making sure that we all see that. So did you see those postings, Charlie? Now let me just show you what I have on my I'll share my screen. They've just sent me the, uh, the link to go to the webinar tomorrow for Joseph 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 McLennan and it begins tomorrow at nine o'clock to eleven Eastern Time. Well, this is the first ripping coaching offer explained by Joseph McLennan. Now we're actually seeing your entire screen. This is what I've been wanting to see all along. So now I can help you with that other problem you were having. So what you don't realize, or maybe you don't realize, is that on the bottom of your screen you see that you have the folders and then you have your Skype. And then mm -hmm. you have your Chrome. You see that? Yep. Now I just go back to the Chrome. See? Yep. That shows that you have two Chrome windows. One of them is the Hangouts. That's the one on the right. And uh, and then the one on the left is where is what we're looking at right now. So okay. you can click between them. Click on that one for a second. You left the video call all because you left it. Okay, perfect. Now X that one. Shut that. Okay. Okay, so now you've just got one Google Chrome. So now, let's see that. That's, that's actually what we're looking at. And you've got two windows. You've got your inbox and you've got your Google Hangout. And... Now down on the bottom, do you see the three you see that Hangout, Robert and Cindy, Google Hangout? Oh, interesting. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Got it. Yeah, so that's important. So the one on the right is actually the Hangout window. And right. you've got me maximized, and so I'm moving off the screen and back onto the screen. So that's cool. That's live. And then the one in the middle is a chat that... that's. Um, Go back to that for a second. Click on that. That's just that. So you can X that. Okay, let's see what you got left. Uh, let's see the one on the left. That's just another hangout. No, no, that's your Google Plus. So this is what I wanted to see. And I, what I was asking you is if you go and you scroll on your on your own page, you know, you should see your news feed, which should show you things. Right now you've got your showing all. But what you could do is you could set it up and you can create your own circles. If you click on more, up at the top, center, yeah, click on more and see what you got. So you actually have, are those yours? The, you've created Ripplin Team and Ripplin Prospects also? Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, you probably told Cindy to do that, and she told me, so I'm just duplicating <laughs> what you said. Fantastic. So, so did you know that if you click on Ripple and Team now, then the only messages you'll see in your newsfeed are people on your Ripple and Team. And you can just, on the fly, you can change that, and you can change what you see. And one okay. of the things that I realized is that now you can also see the people that are posting, like Agiwar Hachi, there's a good chance that you can actually get in touch with that person. I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but you should now send a message to that person. If you mm -hmm. click on their name, it'll take you to their page. He is in Morocco. Charlie, have you looked recently if, at the new features? Uh, you want me to stay in my Ripley yes, page? Yes, yep, stay right where you are. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff, new stuff. Yeah, scroll I've discovered down a little bit. So um, click on your Ripple 1, that's 23. 
on the circle? Uh -huh. And that opens up this. Have you seen this before? Yes. Yes. Did, okay, so now go ahead and just choose. Go ahead and uh, go to ripple three. You've only got three ripples, so click up on top. No, no. Yeah, you can do it that way. Okay, so that's your ripple three. Now choose a person on your ripple three, just randomly. Okay. The only thing you can click on is their is their profile, their that figurine on the right. <clears throat> okay, so the new feature is what? How do you connect? Yes. 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 Oh. Oh, that's from Rollis. Okay, that's one of Rollis's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you can okay. see how do you connect infinitely deep. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I love that. Okay. Yeah. There were some other. There's some other things we got too, Rob. Did you notice? Go ahead and tell the, us. Um, Go ahead and share, Cindy. I think it's in the um, okay. commerce. Okay. And it said download, and I downloaded that, and they told me about the training. That green it's button called up at the, the top. E factor, right? Yeah, that green button up at the top wasn't there before. What what happens when you do that? That's just where I got an invite to the step tomorrow. What is your number one question? Okay. The coaching Tell us more off about we're talking the about timeline. Rob's partner, we're talking about one of the best out there in the world and you'll you'll see so that's one of our product categories it's launching this week the the watch is the hard goods category that had you know kind of a mini launch with a limited quantity at the event and I think they're gonna be talking more about when you can when other people can buy those I don't know if they mentioned it because I didn't hear the end of the call yesterday but those watches is the second category and then the you know the, the original category and the no-brainer where the real exciting opportunity f that's probably the biggest worldwide because of the the free and you know and the very low cost is all the downloadable stuff and that includes the games and as I shared with you each individually um, the first games were supposed to be out. The, the original product that was going to be the foundation of the company, the communicator, that was going to be out in April and we got a very good explanation as to why it's been delayed but that product's now going to come out in October and it is going to be very very cool. But what's coming out now is this this product that I I'm excited about it's a picture game where you can upload your own picture and you can create you're basically creating your own puzzle games and you can share them with whoever you want and when you share them with people they uh, in order to be able to to compete or to have a chance to play they have to register it's just like registering for anything online but in this case when they register they will be in your ripple and that is really really exciting so that would have been out at the event. The plan was for that for us to be able to launch that at the event and invite our first, you know, ten people while we were there. But because of the Apple Store being hacked a couple of weeks ago, um, Apple has not been allowing any submissions for about the last ten days, and so we get caught in that. And that's really nothing that the company could do. It's you know one of those things but in the big scheme of things it's just a tiny little setback that product is completely ready to go there's a, there were a bunch of people playing variations of it in the hallway and it's just designed so that it seamlessly integrates into the whole Ripplin world where you have to be referred in order to play and you won't even know that you are signing up for anything and you don't have to ever do anything but you know with the great marketeers that we all are and that we have in Ripplin if you know how all of these mobile apps work they give you continuous opportunities to try out other games to get your you know to get uh, free upgrades or to get to, to pay money to get upgrades to get hints and clues and to buy 
did all the things that you could buy for ninety nine cents, a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. There will be many of those kind of things in each game. But all we're trying to do right now is to get one game out there. You know, I I hear in your voice a little bit of, you know, the same. It's it's not surprising, you know, that people are frustrated that there's nothing tangible yet. But these three areas that I'm talking about, they're all very tangible. We're talking about having a significant lineup of products for the Christmas holiday season. But right now it's important when you got 1.2 million people and not a single one of them has had a chance to do anything besides just sign a legal document and give their information. You know, we have to be sure that we can handle the traffic and the growth and that all the systems are working. So, um, and you know, as I mentioned to you, Cindy, the, the whole the communicator had to be redesigned from the ground up because the company realized when we had 1.2 million people at this point in time instead of the 100,000 that they had originally expected in the first six months, they knew that the communicator app couldn't handle that and so they had to go back to the drawing board but it gave us a chance, gave them a chance to look at now the whole scene, the whole environment has changed. And you know, we're not talking about something where you come in with an idea 18 months ago and everything is just, you know, get that out, get that out now. It's continuous evolution. Since the whole communicator app idea came about, there's been 25 popular communicators out there. So now the question is, you know, is it even relevant and what what we saw this weekend is, yeah, we've they've come up. The technology team and the architects and the, the marketers behind it have come up with a really, really cool communicator that's better than everything else out there. But because it's got to be designed to handle video and because it's going to be able to handle millions of people, it is going to take a little more time. But it will it will come out. And who's a competitor? Who? What would a competitor be? Uh, Voxer is a really Voxer. good one right now, and and WhatsApp is a very popular one, and I use both of them. And the one that nobody really mentions is that Facebook actually has a messenger app that allows you to get to leave voice um, voice messages up to one minute long through Facebook. So that's pretty cool. Skype, wow. okay. Skype also now allows you to leave voice messages. So there's, you know, the question is, what is the the job of a communicator? One time, the company Ripplin was pretty much, I think, you know, hearing all the stories, that was the basic foundation of what the, of what the whole company was. It's become so much more, but in the process of, of of you know implementing all of that, it's also taking a little bit longer. And you know, Brian. The founder, the the chief, the guy with the, the original idea, who is the CEO of the company, you know, he was very visible on stage. It was he, you can really see the genuine person that he is, and how he's not trying to brush anything under the under the rug. But you know, he kind of compared it in a interesting uh, five minute you know pitch. He was talking about this company that that had a product back in 1991 that was like the foundation of the whole company and everybody was waiting for it and anticipating it and they were a month late and then they were three months late and then they were a year late and by the time it came out it was two years late and that was the original Windows Windows yeah. 3.0 or 3.1 yeah uh, so you know it took two extra years to do it and that's kind of how the Ripplin team sees what we're doing. It's just so big that there are going to be things that are going to keep it from, you know, necessarily going on to an exact timetable. But the end result is that we've got something that's so exciting, you know, that all 500 people in the room were totally enthusiastically behind and uh, a common vision of, of what this all can be. Um, in each of the product categories and then for the company as a whole. So um, as far as that that game, that download for category three, which is the cheapest, easiest to circulate around the world and the quickest to grow your ripple with, as soon as the app store allows submissions, it may have already happened, um, it's like a 10 day process and if Apple approves it right away, then it comes to market right after that. If Apple 
does not approve it, then you know you have to go back and make edits and resubmit it. There's no reason to think that that would happen. But once again, it's like, do you want to commit to something absolute and wind up being behind, or just this is what what's going on? So we're you know it's imminent. It's a couple of weeks away. But Jonathan Butt also posted something today about spending all this money on Candy Crush and how he can't wait until Candy Crush is available next month through the Ripple so that he can spend his money in his own business or something like that. So I hadn't heard about Candy Crush coming out, but you know, for any games to come through Ripplin doesn't mean that it has to be an original game, but it has to have a new architecture underneath it so that when people play you, play against you, that they sign up under you seamlessly. That's the key. Now, that's pretty interesting, um, but I would just have one question, and I know that Apple is the big boy on the block. Uh, I don't know whether they're the largest company in the world, and then RF Exxon back in there in the first place again, depending on the price of oil. But um, who is our second? If something goes wrong, who do we go to besides Apple? Um, I mean, well, the, these apps, the, the, even our apps in the market, and Apple says, well, no, this doesn't meet our standards because... Well, Apple, then, if it doesn't meet Apple's standards, then unfortunately you have to go back and, and design it to meet their standards. But, well, but, the, but that, uh, they could say it doesn't meet their standards because Apple has a competitive product coming out and they don't want the competition. No, Apple Apple's not in the apps game. You know, Apple... Is okay. Apple yeah, owns the store. You know they are the place where all of the apps that go on their devices okay. are sold. That, that, that answers my question. Okay. Yeah, for iPhone. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I wanted to ask also about Troy. By the way, what before we before we change that to topics, just so you get the whole picture, Apple doesn't do that out of the goodness of their heart or just to grow their their um, mobile phone and and, and um, mobile device business they charge 30 percent so they, wow. they they charge 30 percent on on you know royalties but as the upside for you you have the opportunity to sell your product in the Apple store and with that kind of brand recognition that's worth a lot and you know generally you're paying it, that 30 to 50 percent you know through the channel is not unusual but what we're doing here with Ripplin is, I don't know how they're dealing with that 30%. Um, you know, the, the idea is that that 30%, rather than going to iTunes, would come directly to the Ripple. But here it looks like there might actually be both, because I don't see how we can get around iTunes for now. Because if you want to put it on an iPhone, you got to do it through iTunes. Period. Yeah. Right? As far as I know, but that may change over time. How about Android? Is that Android is all, go it'll all be all the others will be supported, but uh, iPhone is uh, um, Apple uh, in terms of their their rules and issues is the toughest um, these days. Android is very easy to support. You know, some other off-name brands might not be supported initially, but I would think that in general, any big any of the smartphones that have a reasonable circulation will be supported. Okay. This is not the type of topic you would get into new prospects. Get, get into with new prospects anyway. No. No, I mean that's why these kind of training calls are good because even the calls that you have with the company and with Curtis and Lisa we're not going to cover it. So that's what I'd like to focus on in these calls is to just address any issues that are not getting covered by the videos and by the calls that are already going on. Well, the question I have is when people say, where's well, the beat the, if you've got a few, with Ripplin if you've got in a your few, Ripple? If you've got a few people like that, then just tell them you don't get it yet, we'll be back to you in six months and just move on to the, the people that don't have those kind of, of issues. Move on, yeah. Yeah. In, in the United States, States, we have a lot of people like that who just want everything instant gratification, and their long-term term goal is what I'm going to do Friday night. They should night. be here. They should. They sh could have come to the event. Everybody was invited. They could be here talking to us now, getting the answers. That's the issue. If they want something that's already done, the, it'll be done. Come back in a year. We're talking yeah. about a new company that's launching. 
We're mm -hmm. talking about yeah. you know something that's incredibly exciting if you get it and if you're not already too busy to look at something that is you know I mean how often do you get the chance to be in, in at this stage? There's the talking about right. something that's brand new that yeah. yeah. Startups and these are no, startups. No, it is. It, it, it is yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, and that's one of the things we laughed about this weekend. Is that it's we got 1.2 million people to sign a legal document with the promise of something that we couldn't even really explain. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. That's right. That, a lot of that has to do with the people that we've got behind it. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I think. Well, it has to do it's with the people that we've got behind it, and it's also got to do with the fact the reason why it even happened that way. And the fact that the leaders were behind it allowed it to be executed at all. But I explained this to Cindy while I was at the event. This is also an issue where they were behind schedule. Uh, in April, yeah. they had already done an event in February. In February, they talked about launching in April. They had they went over this communicator in April, and people were so excited. So the the event in April was when they were supposed to launch the communicator, and so people came from all over the world to this event. You think you know you're frustrated now, Cindy? Well, a lot of those people are still in, and they've waited because they they went then and they saw that these people are not just blowing out, blowing smoke. You know, <laughs> it's not that easy. So, but anyway, the point is that because they didn't have the product ready and they needed to give people something, these thing they went and created this HTML file, HTML um, website and a, a version that works on mobile and. It's a pretty, as you know, it was pretty basic and simple, but it was able to handle getting 1.2 million people signed up. But that was never the plan. The plan was that by April the products were going to be out. So originally their plan was last November for the products to be out. So they're way delayed, but they're not hiding behind that. They're explaining what has happened, and and the story is pretty good, and I think it's going to be worth the wait and. You know, rather than having all these different price points and all these in terms of, um, of different, back then there there was like a $300 level and a $900 level. Everything was simplified and now it's just, you know, the one thing that did change, I don't think, you may, you may not have heard this, Charlie, but the pricing was $69.95 a year plus $25 a month, but what the management team realized and we discussed and agreed on in the event is that instead of, a lot of people in the world don't really understand an annual fee and it would always be a challenge to explain it. So they changed it to a $95 upfront fee and then $30 a month and then there's no, no additional annual fees. So the Ripple and Tracking Platform is not an extra thing anymore. And then thirty dollars a month. That, you know, that made that was one of the things that uh, one of the questions I had from a, uh, a one of my Ripplers who has quite a following in in Lithuania, and he said uh, thirty dollars a month and ninety ninety five dollars up front is a lot of money to people in the other countries. Are they going to come up with anything uh, for? tying it to their particular currency or anything like that or is it is it going to be US dollars and that's a firm price and no matter what country you're in well the the idea is that it was designed to be affordable as affordable as can be around the world and yeah, yeah that, that makes sense compared that's to what any, I'm holding my compared to any other MLM which are the cheapest businesses to get started and yep. then compared yep. to a franchise or a traditional business, we're talking about pocket change. It is expensive there, I understand, it's huge, but that's why it's limited to the wealthy or whatever that class is that can afford it. But in every country, there are those people that do it. And those that can't pay to play, they should be fans and they should just start to build their ripple right now and just do it for fun and do it for the rewards and for the recognition. They will you know, people that have the vision and they don't have anything better, they yeah. should just yeah. do it on the side. Don't do it instead. Yeah, that's basically what I told him. I said, where in the world can you start a business with the potential to make this much money where you're running it for, I even threw out the price of $100 a month in case he wanted to buy apps to autoresponders and things like this. But, I mean, 
you know, at thirty bucks a month, you can't find a business that has this kind of potential, and that that's one of the things that I saw about it right off. So, uh, you know, it it was really a non-event, and it really didn't keep him uh, uh, in the dark for too long. I mean, he 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 realized it, and he said, you know, that's that is pretty cheap. I mean, you got to have you got to be able to pay for your servers, and especially to handle that many people in a hundred days. I can't believe that. Yeah, they spend millions of dollars. It's it's amazing what what they put into it so far. And okay, so um, Cindy, you know, just the thing is, it's not going to be slow in coming. More stuff is coming. There's going to be several products, one after another, after another, at this point. So those who can't wait, they'll move on. But they're not going to find something better, so they may come back. When we have this new first app out, the people that are already in, we want to have a strategy for getting them to just try it out and see. You know, this is what you've been waiting for. Even for the coaching, anybody mm -hmm. that would possibly be interested in a Tony Robbins kind of coaching, come tomorrow and check it out and see what this guy's all about. He had 500 of us in the room. Uh, he created quite an emotional um, event. There were, there were a lot of people that, that were crying by the time he was done, um, and it was in a, in a room that size. So I would imagine that he has some good ways of coaching online, and I don't know what this is going to be, if it's going to be you know thousands all listening at once, or if it's going to be small groups. So it'll be really interesting to hear what he's going to do, and because all of us have groups under us, you know, all you have to do is get one person to do it. So Cindy, if you're going to do it, then mine's free. And if and if Charlie's going to do it, then yours is free. And we got to get somebody to do it under Charlie. And we should just try and get everybody who's powered up and everybody that we, you know, can to at least come and listen tomorrow, so they can see what the coaching is going to be about. Jonathan talked about it last night, and he's so excited, you know. But you have to be excited about these things to be able to be a promoter. And you know that may be the biggest challenge of all sometimes for us, but. You can get more excited and promote things better if you believe in them, and the best way to believe in them is for us, you know, for Jonathan having been in that room this weekend, and for me, you know, you can see why it's so great. So, just try and be there tomorrow. You'll see. And, and at what time? That's nine to eleven, Cindy. Six p.m. Uh, Pacific. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pacific. Pacific. Six p.m. Pacific. Yeah, that. you have to sign up for the webinar though. When they send the email, you go in and you sign up for it. And then they give you a link to go straight to it. All right, now what about Troy? Because Troy interviewed Ryan. So we're talking and, about you know, Troy Dooley. He was asking those questions and, and stuff, and then you said Troy very showed up. Specifically focused on compliance issues. He is looking in as a lawyer would, as the government would. He's good about the questions. He really asks great questions to make people think and also he thinks through and just to make sure their things what he are said covered. Is that, and I think you know, that's what he did with Brian and I thought him. that was good. And, uh, I mean the answers were good. People ask all the time, you know, why do you publish these things without getting all the facts and yeah. because his first story about Ripplin was pretty was pretty scathing but it was also based on other things that were published and so basically what he said is that's exactly what the regulators do so you know I'm looking for the same kind of information that they're looking for and I'm not coming to any conclusions I'm just raising the issues the same way they're gonna raise the issues but he said the good thing the good thing about Ripplin was that as soon as they heard my report, you know, Brian gave me a call and uh, invited me to come down there and I had a chance to do that and um, you know, basically what he said in, in about fifteen minutes was that he has been extremely impressed with everything that he has now seen and heard. Um, he, he does, he thinks that the people that are involved in this from the, you know, the vision and the marketing side is top notch. Um, it's definitely not a pyramid scheme. 
Uh, he liked the way that the company went back and changed their compensation plan in order to comply. Um, he liked just the overall the model that we have right now that it, it makes sense and uh, what else? Yeah, that sounds good to me. I mean, uh, yeah, it did. It, but but the neat thing was is that Brian brought him to the thing and then he you know got up there and said what he said because he's not going to say it just to fluff things. I mean, because he is a straight shooter. Yeah. So, but by the way, Rob, he's also on Big Google Hangout. I've got it up on my shared screen. He um, he does the same thing on Facebook as he does on um, on um, Google Plus. Well, that, you know that's good. To, I mean, whenever you have a convert like that, uh, and I love that uh, that screenshot you sent me the other day about the height of ignorance. Oh yeah, yeah, that, I liked it that, too. That was great. Did you see that, Rob? The, the, height, the height of ignorance is when you reject well, something that you know that nothing about, yet you refuse to investigate. Sharing this. And who said that? No Wayne Dwyer? In many ways than sharing any other opportunity. It's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just that this one is a lot easier. So if you can't do this, imagine trying to sell the, the, this great energy drink that you love so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Or some, yeah, you know. or some soap. Laundry detergent, yeah. or some cosmetics, or I mean, or, or anything, anything, or oxygen. Well, I mean, even oxygen is—it's—it's it's a much harder product to sell. You have to. Oh learn. yes! Oh, oh yes! yes. <laughs> and and that's—you don't want to burn bridges. What I've learned in my career as as looking into online marketing, I've never market. I've never had the success that you have, Rob. But I've certainly seen every product that's come down the pipeline in the last 13, 14 years, and uh, this one just blew my head off. I mean, I've never been, I've never got up in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock because I was dreaming about Ripley. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> and I mean, I'm up and I'm on the computer and I'm thinking, well, I, I'm just so excited that I I have to restrain myself. This is what we were talking about with our uh, the new gentleman that just joined tonight. He's from Tennessee. And... Uh, we told him just don't don't listen to everything that's coming down the pipeline and don't get excited about it and don't try to tell people about it because you'll get so excited you'll overload them and they'll 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 go into to a synaptic overload <laughs> and they won't get it. So I said just keep it simple, bring them along slowly, and uh, when they finally figure out that they're making money by doing everything that they're already doing, and instead of Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest making all the money, they Cindy, you asked me at the beginning about uh, you wanted to hear about my, my time with Diane. I'll tell you, I'll share with you um, what's even more relevant, which is the presentation that she made from stage, which I found out in my little time with her that she prepared at 1 a.m. the night before because they asked her to change her presentation, so she had to change it, and so she came up with this whole new thing. And basically, she got up there and she showed pictures from the Love Boat. Remember the Love Boat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, at the beginning of the Love Boat, they go through and they introduce you to the captain and to, and to the first mate and to all the different characters. Yep. Yeah. And do you remember, you know, everybody's got their job, right? The captain, uh -huh. the captain pilots the boat and the, and the chef and the... Everybody knows their job. So what Diane said is that our job is to be like Julie. You guys remember Julie? Yes. 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 Yeah, Julie would stand there when everybody would get onto the ship, and she would say, well, hello, Mr. Jones. So yes. what do you like to do? Exactly. Uh, shuffleboard, that's on the third deck <laughs> on the port side. And then, uh, you know, oh, Mrs. Smith, what do you like to do? Oh, yeah, the casino is on the second deck in the lounge. You'll love it there. So our <laughs> job is just to point people to the information. Just yeah. Yep, yep, get the information. I agree with that. I do agree with that. That's that great. That is great. So I changed my welcome letter because uh, people are going to get interested in Ripland to begin with because of the fact that it, it is free. And then they can see uh, 
what it's all about, then they can decide how much money they want to spend. And then if they they can spend, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, I was telling them all up to 100 bucks a month, and it would still be cheaper than any business of this size that you could do for that amount of money. And they don't even have to spend that. So I sent it out without that. But I said my one of my notes before it got into the steps about how you do ripping, I said that the one of my main uh, uh, no, motivations is, in life is that you have to figure out what you want in life like and then it. go get it. So Charlie, and can you, that's can the you biggest part that most people you, don't going? know. I want to get the the house paid for. I want a house on the beach in uh, Ecuador, and uh, I want to sit in, with my feet in the sand, drinking a Corona, served to me by scantily clad females, and my wife can have uh, Hector and Ruiz and serve her something. And, um, and then I'll sit there on my iPhone and carry on my rippling business and sharing as much as I can with people about how to do the same thing I'm doing. And then with all the extra money, I'll uh, open up a conservative think tank <laughs> and teach people how they need to, need to take responsibility for their own actions. And, and they're never a failure until they start blaming others. Well, I, who was, wasn't it you that told me the other day the difference between a millionaire and, and the average Joe is that the millionaire has a very clear picture of where he wants to be in 12 months? And the difference between a millionaire and a, and a billionaire is a billionaire has a very clear picture of where he wants to be in 20 years. Years, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and the, the average Joe has a very clear picture of where he wants to go on Friday night to drink some brew. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's short-sighted. <laughs> And, the, and, and they don't see that by buying a year of their retirement now and foregoing some of these got to have it uh, instant gratification things that they can, you know, that they can not only change the world, they can change themselves, and, you know. So well, it's exciting to be um, able to offer something to them that, that they can I do that. I thinking about that uh, Excellent. as well. Jonathan mentioned from the stage this weekend that, that when he had that conversation with this, with this billionaire, um, that 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 kind of changed his whole way of thinking. And yeah, yeah. He started looking at, at the whole world different, and and mm -hmm. that has shaped in many ways. You know, this company is just one of the elements of the big picture that he and Jim Bunch are working towards. I was telling mm -hmm. Cindy a little bit about this earlier, but they, you know, they do have a vision to really fix the world but Ripplin is, is is one piece because it helps people to finally get justice and stop, stop the corporations from taking all the money that's rightfully ours mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> right I, okay I, I so what is your more. number one question that still remains Charlie um, I am kind of at a block now and uh, I think that uh, where my block came in was my lack of understanding about how to use some of the tools that I had, such as Google Plus and and uh, Gmail, and uh, and with working with Cindy here, the last couple of days I found found out a lot about that, and I want to get my fan page in Facebook up, um, and I want to be able to do something about that spam that I have, uh, that spam message I get from Facebook when I put anything with. Right, well, anything that, on there that has started my ripple weekend, it, I mean, that's just the way it, it is. Has, so did they say you it's can't spammy? post that link, but you can talk about Ripple in any other way. You just have to find yeah, You can yeah. send them the link by Skype. You can send them the link by email, but you can't send it to them. Or you could do it the way you and I talked about, where you, you spell it out. And spell out the dot .com, and hopefully they'll get it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I've been doing, and I'm going to start... Uh, telling them a little bit more but uh, and at the same time I'm trying to instead of flood them with nothing but rippling information I'm, I'm very big into uh, prevention of animal cruelty and uh, pet adoptions and things like that so I put all of these uh, pictures of, uh, of uh, animals and uh, that have abused animals and things of that nature that have been uh, you know rescued and things like that so I think that that gains me a following and then maybe people can see that my following, if I'm doing this and have this much passion, and I'm also doing Ripplin, they can apply that to their business. I mean, I have so many people that are 
in small businesses that don't see the potential that they could use this for their small business and reach markets they never even thought about. That's right. Yeah, right. So, yeah. I, so it, to me, it's just so you know, okay. yeah. But you have what you're to, talking good. about yeah. is the definition of attraction marketing. So the question yeah. is, what exactly are people going to be attracted to and and you know come to you for? So uh, here's one way around the issue on Facebook, where uh -huh. you can put your link, and that is if you if you put a fan page app. So this is my fan page that's mostly about me, and this is where I'll be promoting Ripplin um, when, when, when appropriate. And then there's this Learn How button, and when you click on there, it takes you to this page. And you can also do paid advertising and send people directly to this page. You can actually have this fan gate so that people... Uh, by the way, you guys are looking at my screen, right? Yeah. Yep. So uh, you can have a fan gate that looks like this, and uh, and actually, um, you can even have a video here that you can tell people why they should like your page, and once they do, <clears throat> then they can see the content. And there's a bunch of different Ripplin designs, but once people decide that they want their invite, then they click here. Now, Facebook has no problem if you put the oh actually I'm, I'm not putting the direct code here but you can put the direct uh, blitz code right here um, but essentially this is just you know it says get your invite and then this is the URL that it gets sent to when they push the button so I, Facebook I allows you to alright all right, so all I'm saying is that this get your invite right here can you can definitely put your blitz link or okay on the, where it says get your in, invite, or you can have it say get your invite, and when you click on get your invite, it goes to your blitz link. Yeah, no, but nobody has a blitz link here. now, so right this now, page. what would you put in that place, Rob? So, I mean, I, I own... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I own this page, and I pay nine ninety five a month for it. This is available to anyone. You can get it by uh, signing up here. This is not a product of Ripplin. This is a, a, separate, a, a third party. And then you can do it the way that Cindy's doing it, um, which is it, it, it's uh, thousandsaweekfromhome.com slash martini time. So this is a page that I've designed for a few people. And I'm happy to make you one. I'm happy to make one for people in your Ripple if they're going to use it, but you know this needs to be tied to an autoresponder. Speaking of autoresponders, um, is that something that I should get, and how much are those? That's the same thing that you and I were talking about with Pure Leverage. Okay, Remember? That, that's Pure Leverage. Okay, I've got yeah. one. I haven't yeah. had a chance to look. Okay. Anyway, yes. that's the capture page I was trying to tell you about, Charlie. This okay. is what the Build a Ripple mm -hmm. and and Rob can set these up okay. for us. All right, that's great. I might, I definitely want you to do that. But let me, before I overload myself with new technology, <laughs> let me, uh, let me get. Yeah, I mean the thing is that this is the old this is a form for getting people who you don't know. And okay. If to get people who you do know, you should be using the max min system or something even simpler and, and we that was reiterated many times this weekend that just keep it really simple people that don't get it just say no problem I'll get back to you in six months and just move on to the next because the people that don't get it and you saw how we did it today you know that was the max man system what we did today with Calvin and basically and it's going to get easier it, it's, when it's there's games because then you're just you know? going to say hey play this Calvin game understood you that to too. Say, sign this legal document but don't worry about reading it and you know don't worry about what you're going to get when you get inside but but it's still easy enough I have had very very little resistance when you just say you know hey listen are you online no okay great I'll call you back when you're going to be online Oh, you're online. Do you have time? Do you have five minutes right now? No? Oh, okay. Well, when are you going to have five minutes and be online? All right, I'll call you back then. Oh, you're online. You have five minutes? Fantastic. Hey, listen, you got to see this. It's the most incredible thing. Go to startmyripple.com. Here's your code. 
fill out these four things. Don't worry about the video. Don't worry about the NDA. You can check all that out later. Just get in. You'll have all the information. Great. Now do the same thing. Talk to five people and tell them to do the same thing. And that's yeah. what we did. Yeah. That's what we did. And I got some of them that were really excited if it can send emails out to all of my team. And then that way I can communicate them through Google Plus with them through Google Plus and then the prospects and everything I can communicate with them. Oh, actually through Google Plus also, couldn't it? But not everybody's on that. But the one to work yeah, Gmail, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, do you do you remember how Rob did it when he was showing you the other day again about how to send out to your team? Um. Well, why don't we go through it real quickly again? And, and you know, I. I've had so much. What Charlie was talking but, about is that, that what we did earlier rem today. Remind us again, we Rob. <laughs> create a message right here. Just yeah, say yes, hi, yes. everyone, and you can set the group. So because I sent the ripple the last time, that comes up as my default group. But okay. um, if we want to change it to all. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! For a second, where did you get so that box? Start, it goes to the top where, where, where did you get you the box that you're in right now? Here. So I'll create, I'll, I'll put it for a different group. And here I'm scrolling. I've got all these different groups. So I can do Ripple and Peers. Uh, I can do Ripple and Prospects. I can do Direct Sales. I can do Peaks, Friends. You know, you can just do whatever circles that you want. And then yeah. right here, also send an email. That's the cool part right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is a cool. Now, and that doesn't have to be just people that have Gmail accounts, Cindy. That theoretically that works for anyone. But until we test it, you know, you should try and send it to a Hotmail account or two, and see if you get it. You've got three, three um, columns. I've only got two columns. How are you getting all of these three columns? That's just your setup. Okay, because I only have a two columns yeah, set up, I guess, and yeah, go over to settings you put and yours. You can take that layout if you want the three column layout, or you. Can, yeah, that's. Oh, okay. Settings. I'm still trying to figure out where he gets that one spot. Is that where you share what's new? Is, Is that, that where, where you started, started in the center? The center with share, share what's new? new? Yeah. Or at home. Share up. Okay. Share what's new. Ah, oh, right. there it is. Okay, it got it, got it, okay. got it. I found okay. it. All right, All right cool. cool. Thank you. All right, and yeah, I've got it to two columns, so it's just a matter of how how much you have your screen magnified. So, okay. Um, what <laughs> other questions, Charlie? You have an issue. Well. I have a Gmail that I really wanted to use, but I signed up for Ripple under my, my Hotmail account, and now I want to go to my Gmail account because I like Gmail so, so much more, especially for what we're doing in Ripple. And I got a really cool Gmail account called RippleandPool at gmail.com, and I have it, and I also have that website domain name, and uh, but I I haven't done anything with it. I just got them before anybody else got them because as soon as Ripplin starts hitting the oh, yeah, airway no, here in, no, in so October, that's great. So, all of those good So the question is, is how do you forward your Hotmail account to your Gmail account? But I haven't changed it because they were in such, as Cindy said, they were in such a growth uh, explosion right now, and they're they're going through so what many I growth this pains, is which is great. I mean, just I'm not an complaining email about those growth to okay. support at Ripplin com, and okay. ask them to change your email address, and they will do it. Okay. All right, and I will do that, that right up. now. Then, and and one of the other things that we heard this weekend is, um, you know, it's all real people that are really trying hard to. Be attentive, but you know, there's a bunch of people out there that are very impatient, and you know, they'll send in the same question a hundred different times or a hundred different ways. And they're just saying to send in your question that way one time. You should get an answer. If you don't, talk to your upline, and we'll get it taken care of. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's what I had noticed uh, also. I uh, I did send in something, and I got a I forgot what it was, but I got an answer right away, which was totally surprising to me. Uh, you know, so I I was really pleased with that. And plus, I when I found out who some of the guys are that are in this, I mean Jonathan Budd, I mean my God, and uh, and uh, Jim Jim Bunch is pretty cool too. Yeah, I, I didn't right. even know he was so in there until yeah, today. Yeah, Joseph is cool too. And then let me Joseph tell you one McClendon. little inside I mean, secret, not a secret. Nobody told me not to repeat it, but this wasn't from the stage. This was just in some after, uh, you know, evening conversations. Um, Jim Bunch was hanging out, and he told us how how he came to work with the Ripplin team. Uh -huh. And, and uh, I told you that he's actually the one who brought Jonathan on. So, let's see. Jim and Jonathan were working on a platform for Jonathan's product. Jonathan was developing a mobile app. And actually, it still is separate and potentially, you know, going to be introduced in the future. But it needed this gamification it needed a very very specific design platform and Jim Bunch is Jonathan's friend and Jim was in on that with him and they were getting this platform designed and unbeknownst to them the guy who was designing the platform for them was out there soliciting other business and he came across Brian who happened to be looking for something very similar and so they were talking about I'm not sure how far along they got but you know the same developer was now engaging with both of them but without telling either of them <laughs> and then it turned out that they ran into each other at an event and started talking and Brian was sharing with Jim what, you know, this platform and what he was doing and, you know, one thing led to another and they found out it was the same guy. How about that? Uh, well, when you've got two power hitters on your, on your team, I mean, those guys would not waste their time with any scam. They, they, they've got too much other integrity going on with their other businesses. So, they... so that guy got himself in a lot of trouble, didn't he? Well, he's he certainly lost the, the, the job. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else. <laughs> he's not doing that anymore, is he? <laughs> no, I think there's, uh, there's a lot to this. And then I, I was telling Cindy that Jim Bunch also has, I didn't, unbeknownst to me, he's involved with the Green Chamber of Commerce and he has a big mission there for um, a lot of a lot of companies actually have quit the US Chamber of Commerce because of their sustainability practices and so the Green Chamber of Commerce has a, a big opportunity and Jim is um, they, they just removed the president and I'm not sure if Jim is going to become the president of that organization or if he's just somehow on the board of directors but he said Ripplin is 80% of his time, and his and this nonprofit is 10% of his time. No. But but he's looking at bringing some of the biggest power hitters in the world of you know change, in the world of transformation, onto this team. He's talking about if anybody can make an introduction to Elon Musk, you know he wants to get Tesla distributed through the Ripple, and he yeah. wants to do things like that. And I think there's a good chance that we can make that happen. We you know, right now we're proving with with a few products that we can that the model will work, and then the sky's the limit. All right, last thing I'll I'll share with you before we go is that um, my buddy John, I was telling this to you earlier, right? John, who who is my sponsor, he has no reason to be doing anything else for money, but he saw the vision of this thing, and just to prove the point. Maybe not just to prove the point, but also because he has very little time. He decided that he's going to invite three people a day, six days a week. And uh, and it's a game for him. You know, He's always looking at how many new people he adds to his Ripple, how many new countries he adds to his Ripple, how many new Ripples he adds. You know, For him, that's the game. Add three people a day, six days a week, and he does it all from the John while that's he's sitting on the toilet. Yeah. And he and he's the one 
that you have that's gotten you almost to 10,000 now. No, no, John is my sponsor. John has over 100,000. No, but you're talking about Justin who's got his VA and and uh, and up, he's up to like 8,000, 7,500. We're putting together a, um, yeah. what we're yeah. calling a yeah. VA co-op so that people will be able to, um, sorry, so that people will be able to uh, basically just pay to have a VA add people to their Ripple and to, and to be able to uh, follow up with people that are already in the Ripple. But we'll talk more about that. We're, first, we're testing it out with a few of us, and, and if we yeah. can prove that it works, then we're going to make that offer to everybody in my, uh, my downline, so, and you know, that everybody who you guys want to include in it. Okay. Rui, who lives in Portugal, he has 220,000. He's one of John, John, uh, Jonathan Bud's people. I had a chance to talk to him. Really nice guy. But that's 220,000 out of Jonathan's people. And Vanessa's under Jonathan, so she's got you know close to 100,000 of his 500,000. But there's not that wow. many that are direct to the company. You've got Jim. That's Bunch. Exactly, exactly right. Yeah, yeah that's that, 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 that's exciting, is what that is. Yeah, <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, and the guy who has I mean, 220,000, he was talking about stage. They don't even have a he said yeah. all he does is he just spends from morning till night just on Skype. He never uses the phone. He does everything on Skype. And yeah. he's, he's been in the network marketing industry, so he had that advantage. And he, yeah. just, he just calls people. He said people he hasn't talked to for a while, you know, he doesn't talk to. He doesn't throw up on people about this. He'll reestablish the connection, and then he'll call back a week later, and he'll tell them about Ripplin. And... It's just, uh, you know, for him, it's he's driven. He, he this guy was a, um, he was a judo champion, but he was talking about how it did not come naturally for him. Like his brother was a champion right away. For him, it took him about ten years. But after he mastered it, he never lost again. And that's kind of how he looks at life. And you know, when he decided to do rippling, he just he's just put in 110 percent, and look what yeah. happened. He actually videoed the entire event, and he offered to share it with us if we would like it. So I need to follow up with him. Oh yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know what's funny? This guy's so unassuming. He's in the back of the room videotaping the event, and I assumed that he was just another attendee or maybe a paid videographer. And then I found out that he had two hundred twenty thousand people in his airplane. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. And then also this guy Nino, he was uh, he was the one giving the microphone to people. You know, he was like the usher, and and it turns out he's got a group of like I don't know, fifty, seventy thousand people. So it is really neat. Just that is great. Hey guys, I gotta run, so I gotta drop off. But it's been a pleasure. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Rob. I Thank you, Rob. It. All right, Cindy, you and I should, should probably chat tomorrow. Okay, okay. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.